when I first got here, there was trash everywhere down around town. And I decided, you know, when I finally said I'm going to retire, I decided I would do something for, for the town because people have been real good to me here. And so I started picking it up. But that's what I do to uh, do something for a town that I like. When did you start doing this? About three years ago. Some people would probably ask you, hey, why don't you just let the government workers clean up the town or downtown? How do you respond to that? I'm an American. This is my country. I was born and raised here. I do it because I want to, and I just do it because I think it's something that I can do to help. And you know, I got a lot of health problems. So I do it for my health, for the community, and like I said, I smoke my pipe. Yeah, hey, I see you got the pipe out there. It's kind of like a Popeye thing going on. Well, that's what some of the people here call me, Popeye, because of this thing. Of course, I don't, you know, I don't, I don't run, I don't run around like this <laughs> with, with one eye closed. You can't tell the sunglasses. Yeah, you can tell the sunglasses. <laughs> but man, I just, I do this because I think it's what, it's what good people do. I have my doubts about whether we're going to make it in the long run because of what's going on right now. Regardless, to use an only victory expression, Matt, I'd take a bullet for this country. I call them lefties. They are teaching the young ones that this country ain't worth it. And that bothers me. When people say that this country's not worth it, don't say that around me. Or my family died, so we didn't have to learn to speak Japanese. I sure hope it, I sure hope it wasn't for, for nothing that my dad's buddies died, that Uncle Rich died. This country is worth fighting for, but will the young ones coming along, will they fight for this country? I don't know, I don't know.